Ugh, all right, my dude. So for those who don't know about this analog horror, uh, we did watch a couple of these already. They're freaking dope. Uh, we watched the Vita Cardis, like the first one. This one seems to be like a whole, uh, like I'm, I'm, we're going to skip over the smaller ones for now. I might go back and like watch all of them. But you can see like some of these are dope. Look at this. Oh, it's so creepy. But this one in particular was amazing, especially because he had like a, uh, he had a really cool like practical like suit, practical effects suit. I'll be honest with you. It looks like it's paper mache, but the fact that it's so like, you know, it's, it's, it's an actual living creature or, or a real physical thing. It, it genuinely creeped me out. It genuinely jump scared me. Uh, did YouTuber uh, censor my last comment? Can you see it? Which one? Was it the oh the, the happy ghost? Was it the happy ghost? It might have. I see the red ghost thing. If that's what you're talking about, yeah. Oh my goodness. So yeah, let's check it out. Mimic defense instructional tape. Is this just the same thing, or is this something new? I hope it's something new because I haven't seen it. But yeah, let's check it out. Uh, I understand. And I wish to proceed, YouTube. I'll type again. Try it, my dude. I did I did change it so that it no longer did stars anymore. So your your any censorships that it does do again, all my censorship stuff is like at the the minimal least amount of censorship possible uh only the main mainly the things that youtube will like you know uh i can't say the word but only 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 things that youtube will sh uh shadow uh i'll probably say the the other half of that word later uh uh or you know uh uh what's uh you know what? i don't know if this counts or not i hope it doesn't it was uh, suppress like when it suppresses certain videos of mine and stuff like that only things that would get me like in trouble like to that point I literally can't say like that other word I said earlier. I cannot say that that that, that edgy Sonic the Hedgehog release, character and the word "ban" at the same time. <laughs> Otherwise, scale. I actually do get it. The reason for this is because we are under attack. We have discovered that there has been a significant growth of mimic population, which are used is for chronic disease, safety. severe anxiety disorders, national so leaders oh, really? have released this severe mood disorders, extreme resistance to depression, or bipolar yourself. disorder. Here's I didn't know about that. Know it's, about and for threat. heroin addiction too. Mimics are humanoid, intelligent What's, predators uh, YouTube that are shorts highly now adapted and keen solely on human prey. Mimics Has it always been so bad? A little bit, depending. By depending. Their daily lives and pick to hunt people when they are most vulnerable. The most common times a mimic will attack is when you are asleep, that walking alone, or in a cornered position. Mimics are cautious and calculative creatures taking precautions to ensure a successful hunt they utilize the one creepy thing about these the mimics is the fact that they will attack you if you're like one in a group. of the more well-known they're like opportunistic hunters itself inside of furniture to blend into its environment common objects that mimics can hide inside like look at this oh like he he uses actual practical effects and stuff to like try to oh that's so creepy dude Either sofas, recliners, How am I wardrobes, not to you already? ottomans, Is this and the other original? places I'm a mimic sure can comfortably wait. I know for sure I am on my, uh, uh, their body like I said, I am definitely on my to fit inside smaller places. They also yeah. use it to expand their body, making themselves appear larger for intimidation. Another method mimics use to blend in is their ability to put on and wear clothing. Mimics put on layers of shirts pants and jackets to hide their bright red skin and blend into densely populated areas in very rare cases mimics can develop and grow to look very similar to human beings pairing this with clothing it these can mimics be very hard to tell uh, the difference yes but it's, it's more specifically uh, right uh, an analog horror about a if you are unsure if a person called, uh, is a uh, mimic. Uh, vita carnis which is basically uh, at so, it, it, uh, the, the shortened version is basically at some point we found a new species of plant that pretty much mimics and and is an almost an exact copy of like plant roots except it's red and almost looks like human flesh but it's it's very specifically not human flesh it just it's a very it's a it's a plant based something that very very closely like is it, 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 uh, looks like human flesh 
mimics it in every kind of way and even like even to the point where it kind of even tastes like meat and the reason i say taste is because they could like the humans in in in, in lore or in the story have like are able to like use the roots the vita carnis to fertilize other objects and certain fruits that come off the tree or the plants they also are able to eat uh even smaller uh animals other creatures that are not the these are the larger mimics that do attack you but there's like mole rat like creatures vita carnis there's other like smaller less dangerous creatures that some people in universe have already used to like you know either kept as pets or butcher and eat basically look out for key features that may reveal their true form look but, for but abnormal like, faces like the level basically like out of all the creatures the actual mimics these guys are like the more advanced life form version of it and they can be incredibly Special dangerous features. there's also one like that's large, like a fungal spore size, flat noses, that can paralyze wide people in an uncanny smile and, and there's also skin. like ginormous statuesque versions as well that don't really do anything body parts like hands mimic people will have long fingers with no fingernails if you are unable to see their face or hands Watch their walking pattern. Mimic's legs are long and hunched. Their walking will be unusual and irregular. It looks Here's like the Titans from Attack on Titan. That's for it. sure. And that's that is on purpose, because again, I think the, the Colossal Titan, you can see the flesh inside, uh the muscles tissue and all that. And these guys are basically mimicking muscle tissue and, and flesh. If it stands before you, do not panic. Stand your ground and try to appear larger. Wave your hands and make plenty of noise. Maintain eye contact. A mimic will hesitate to attack a potential threat. If you are armed with a weapon, aim for the head or legs. These are the best areas to hit to ennobilize the threat. Fight back and don't let it get a hold on you. If you find a mimic that hasn't discovered you yet, stay out of sight. Call the authorities and alert them of your location. Stay where you are to avoid startling the mimic. If the mimic gives chase, run. Try to get somewhere out of sight and hide. Do not leave the area. Officials will need to locate you to help. Stay low and stay quiet. With the information you have learned, use it well and stay safe. Oh, we're getting footage. Um, um, why do you do this to me, analog horror? It's a dark screen, but I'm hearing a whole lot of, like, keys being inserted somewhere. Oh, it's a tape. Okay, they were putting a tape into a VHS. All right, okay. Woo! Discard and destroy all copies. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so there's somebody who actually captured it on footage. All right, let's see this. Oh, let's see. How are the cats? Cats are great. Well, actually, literally today, uh, uh, my brother came to pick them up. So they were doing awesome, my dude. Super fun. I thought you only had 30 minutes of tape on that. I know, but I've got to see how it works. Like, I never got to use one of these. 30 minutes of tape. Actually, that's due to specific laws here in America. They, the, the vast majority of uh, cameras can only do 30-minute recording sessions. Otherwise, they're considered camcorders and have to be taxed uh, more heavily. It's still way too dark. One sec. There we go. Hello. 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 Oh, there we go. We got, we got some light now. Yeah, it obviously we'll helps out a lot. Over there. You can't see anything unless I like point directly over there. Bro, what am I? What? What I keep telling everybody? Look at those YouTubers that like buy Amazon oh, flashlights that are like nine million lumens or whatever. Oh, Freaking lights up a whole forest. Fine, I'll cook you stuff when we get home. Don't worry. I'm gonna have to buy me one of those. I ain't gonna get eaten by no chupacabras. Okay. Screw that.
Also, I know it's kind of uh, stupid, but a story reminds me of the reptilians conspiracy theory. Oh, absolutely. Imagine someone starts believing mimics are real. Horror stories are becoming more appealing today. Oh, absolutely, my dude. I totally get that, too. But I feel like a lot of that as well has to do with the fact that, like, real life can be boring at times. So, you know, that's why, that's why like, the back rooms and all that is so popular. Because you just, you just want to spice it up a little bit, you know? I can only imagine that extends into, like, the older conspiracy theories and stuff, you know? Oh, did they see one? Right, but it still turns off and on randomly for some reason. Like, it's the best thing I could get my hands on, though. Turning on and off, but it's the only thing that they would give me. It works, so I just gotta watch. This is gnarly. It's not my fault this guy lives in a fucking dump. We're almost there. We just gotta get through the woods. Oh, they're going to visit someone. Do you see it, though? Hopefully I show up on camera, so... Uh, hopefully there are lights out there. Like, people still live there, right? Oh, Can't be that bad. Pretty dark to me. But... It was just one guy. I, I don't know why. Like, why would they get rid of everything? It was one guy. Why would they get rid of everything? Dogs barking are never a good sign. No. Are they going somewhere where there was a victim? The sky looks nice. This thing can't capture it. Can barely capture the ground in front of me. So, what are we doing out here exactly? Supposedly, they found some guy, like, it was like, it was like a grody scene, like, it was disgusting. Like, they, like, they had to get rid of the trailer he was in, and then... Is that the person from the first went, episode, then? So they're gonna go the see the, the murder, here. the murder scene. So, you know, I'm filming that. Hopefully, I get a good mark for it. So I'm wondering if this, if this is before... It became, or like in lore, I wonder if this video is from before they actually realized what the Vita Carnis was. Because in the other video, it's like, it's like, it, it, it dang near had to become a part of their society. They would use the, the Vita Carnis to like use as fertilizer, as super nutrients for, for food and other plants. But certain patches, like natural wild Vita Carnis, can like spawn creatures and stuff. If, if, if it's not trimmed back Careful. and like maintained. Bro, I'm just saying, if I'm gonna go see a freaking like crime scene situation, I ain't doing it at night. Forget this. Still hungry. <laughs> I love it. Still hungry. Yeah. Okay. Godbeer uh, says less like a chupacabra, more no, like a. No, oh goodness. Like Zulum. Is that what it is? Ten. Zulum. We're on the road. What's a Zulum? We're almost there. We just got past the tree line and make the way to the trailer park. Then we can go home. Okay. Okay. I don't want to be out here either. It's a weird place. See, we're right here. No, you go ahead. I can't, you can't see a thing. Where am I even going? Uh, just up here. There should be a path. Right there, yeah, right here. Okay. See, I found the path. We're all good.
I'm gonna be honest with you though, cause if cause if y'all know about the the mimics, and y'all still out here with this little weak ass flashlight, you all deserve to get eaten. First step was line of sight. In the video, what are you doing? Say something, my dude. This is way more terrifying if you're just breathing heavily. Come on. I do like the fact that, like, they did mention the fact that, again, the Vita Carnis does, is like a super nutrient. So, in theory, yeah, the more nature, the more fo foliage, trees, grass, stuff that exists, the more likely there's going to be Vita Carnis around. You could tell that I'm I'm genuinely like I think this way. sucked into like like the antsy nervousness because now no, I gotta blink I consistently because I stopped that. blinking there <laughs> for a while. Oh my eyes burn! I'm like trying to keep my eyes peeled. Like when? Where is it? Where is it? We could get a shot of this and like you're trying. No, I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to load me into a sense of security. Like uh, uh, nothing's happening right now. Uh, uh, you know? Are you blinking a lot? Yes, yes. I literally just mentioned that. I'm blinking like crazy. Because I just cool. refused to... I was like, dude. And now my eyes burn. <laughs> this is what they do. This is what these analog horrors do. They they give you like a, like long gaps of absolutely nothing. Just to make just to make you feel like, yeah, see, nothing's happening. You don't gotta you don't gotta worry about nothing. You just keep watching. See, it's boring. Yeah, nothing's happening on screen. You don't gotta you don't gotta keep your eyes peeled. Don't you do it. We're on the flat part now. Yeah, we're close. The trailer should be right up ahead. Bro, at this point, if I was homegirl, I'd be like, this guy's about to murder me. Like, I'm just saying, like, why are you making me walk all this way? <laughs> here now though not a single building in sight except like way over there but oh so what did they just like completely there's no one here it's the strangest thing you think the government like you know they're they, like if they if, they, if, they, if, they, if like the trailer park was like being overrun by the vita carnis you think the, the government would just like wipe it all out Here we go, here we go. Does that mean people farm Vita Carnus? Yes, they do farm the Vita Carnus. But again, if you let it if you let it grow to a specific height or a specific like amount, it'll start to spawn little mole rat creatures, and if it gets too large, it'll 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 potentially even spawn a mimic. Or spawn uh uh the like some mushroom spore variant. And, like, the ones that have been let for a long, long time literally have these ginormous building-sized monuments made of just pure Vita Carnis, but they don't move or do anything. I think the the, the most important one is that it's they also have, like, little berries that taste like meat. You can just, like, pluck them off the roots. Okay, the footage on purposefully, I think, went down a bit. Oh, they're YouTubers. Something about... Oh, they're talking about a guy who came home and apparently was attacked by a grizzly? So so this might be before people were widely, like, acknowledging the fact that they existed. No one was allowed here, but only a few witnesses saw what truly happened there. For some reason, the police were acting very weird and trying to keep everyone away until as little as... 
Oh, it's a bit difficult to hear him. They they turned down the footage a lot for some reason. I want to put the volume up for you guys, but I know as soon as I do, they are going to like jump scare us or something. It's going to be super loud. A vegan meat that doesn't taste like dirt. I know, right? That's the most like, that's the most like unrealistic part of it. <laughs> That's going for someone who used to be vegan for like two years, dude. They didn't, they didn't make a whole lot of, like, we didn't have no, no, what is it, mystery meat? No, what, we had mystery meat. We didn't have any, uh, beyond meat back then. You said grizzly way too much. What? You said grizzly way too okay, much. Okay, that was the purpose. The purpose is yeah. the camera has okay, terrible sure. footage. Uh, sure. Or terrible audio, rather. Pause. Yeah, do it again. Go stand out there in the... Yeah, we didn't have no Beyond Meat back then, bro. We had to oh, suffer through it. 30 minutes, so that being said, if y'all looking for a cool way, like a good, like even if you're not vegan, y'all looking for a good sandwich, grab y'all some cauliflower, some quish, like, yeah, dehydrate as much as possible, because I think, like, okay. I guess it depends on how you cook it. Uh, But bake the cauliflower or just get it raw. Cut it almost like you're cutting, like, a patty. So, like, just grab the giant flour and, like, divvy it up, like, right in the center, like you're dissecting it. And then, uh, uh, and then basically you just deep fry that thing in some beer batter. Mm. Deep fry that thing. Hot sauce, red hot sauce all over it. It's like a cauliflower patty. I'm just saying, instead of putting all that like fake meat, uh, just a, a nice good cauliflower burger would, would is way better with some beer batter. Oh. Oh. Oh, he just gone. Oh, he got got. You should go home without him. You want to stay out here and play games? You can. Oh, Chris got got. Okay, so Chris disappeared. Just out of the blue. Girl, do you even know your way back? Now, what you do now is you walk towards all those other buildings you saw. You go towards society. Oh, you're making so much noise stepping on those leaves. You gonna get God, girl. Freaking pigeon started flapping his wings like crazy, Chris? scared me. <laughs> what are you doing? Cause this isn't funny. That ain't Chris! That's a mimic! That's a mimic! Oh, was it hiding in the car? Y'all saw earlier, they hide inside of sofas, they hide inside all kinds of stuff. Yep, yeah, Chris got got. I don't think Chris coming back. She's smart though, she's screaming, somebody better help me. Or was, or was this the real? Oh! Oh, it looks slimy. <laughs> or was this the original? Was this the girl? Is, is this like a a prequel? To the other footage where the girl's like hiding in the closet and it grabs him? What if Edicarnus believes it is human? Are you morally able to kill it as a mimic? Well, that's the thing, as you saw there. They they pretty much are, they, they're just intended on eating and consuming anything they find. 
Oh, that's creepy. Let's go. Hold on. Oh, no way to click off. I want to see it. I want to see it again. Over by the car. So it looks like, so this is before people knew really about the mimics, because the fact that he was saying that whoever got butchered there was actually getting mauled by a grizzly bear. So I have to assume what that means is that it was, it, they, they, they don't know about it yet. This is before, be Okay, I went too far. Going back, going back. I want to see it over by the car. She ain't sprinting yet, so I have to assume. Oh, okay, hold on. Chris, though! Yup, that's Chris, because they put the freaking little sensor bar over it. Oh, look at that, dude! The elongated mouth, the freaking eyeballs, like, the fact that it's, pr it's, it's like, because it's practical effects, you know? I'll go back here. I want to see this. Let's go frame by frame. Hold on. Oh, look at it, dude! Oh, God. Fuck. No! Not that. <laughs> Mr. Blobby was a mimic. Oh, Mr. Blobby was absolutely a mimic! Are you kidding me? And they are, they are, in fact, intelligent enough to open doors and stuff, which is even worse. If I'm not mistaken, but, oh, goodness. <laughs> the yell's pretty dope! I wonder how they made the yell. Or what noise is it? Is it just a person yelling? And for those who don't know, this is Mr. Blobby. We'll look up Mr. Blobby. Dude, that dude's absolutely a mimic. Mr. Plubby. Look at this guy. Uh, <laughs> oh, somebody. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of, as you can tell, a lot of people are terrified of Mr. Plubby. <laughs> but the original one is this, like, ah. Oh. Mr. Plubby. <laughs> you kidding me? Mr. Plubby is 100% a mimic. 100% was a mimic. Mr. Plubby. All right, let's go. Hello, gentlemen. I'm Special Agent Edwards of the FBI. Police Archive for FNAF VH. Oh, that's a different video. Ooh, I'm about to check some of this stuff out. Paranormal Investigation. FNAF slash VHS. Like, as in, like, the VH... Like, is this, so like, similar... Oh, I'm looking at this. Is this similar to, like, the VHS movies? Like, the... I'm gonna add this to my watch later. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs>